I am Teacher Me and welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we're going to learn on how to multiply simple fractions and mixed fractions. The first rule in multiplying fractions is to multiply the numerators that appears on the top of the fractions. Next is to multiply the denominator that appears at the bottom of the fractions. Let's have an example. We have 1 fourth times 3 fifths. So in this case, we're going to multiply the numerators 1 and 3. So that would give us 3 and then multiply the denominators 4 and 5. So that would be 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So since 3 20 gets have no common factors except 1. So therefore, it is in the simplest form. So the answer is 3 20 Another example is 4 fifths times 1 half. So again, let us multiply the numerators 1 and 4. So 4 times 1 is equal to 4. Next is to multiply the denominators 2 and 5. So 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 4 tenths. Now, 4 tenths is not yet in simplest form. So therefore, we are going to find the greatest common factor of 4 and 10. So let us use listing method to find the GCF of 4 and 10. So, let us list down the factors of 4. We have 1, 2, and 4. How about 10? We have 1, 2, 5, and 10. Now, let us compare both factors. What is the greatest common factor of 4 and 10? So, that would be 2. To simplify 4 tenths, let us divide the numerators and denominator by its greatest common factor. So that would be 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So therefore, the product of 4 fifths and 1 half is 2 fifths. Okay, next. How about in multiplying more than two fractions? So what are you going to do? So let's have two fifths times four sevenths times one third. Same thing to do is to multiply the numerators two, four, and one. Okay? So two times four is eight times one is eight. Next is to multiply the denominators five, seven, and three. So, 5 times 7 is 35. And then, 35 times 3 is 105. So, we have now 8 100 fifths. Now, 8 100 fifths is in the simplest form because 8 and 105 have no common factors except 1. So, therefore, the answer is 8 100 fifths. How about in multiplying a whole number by another simple fraction? So remember that a whole number has an imaginary denominator that is 1. Okay? Let us now multiply the numerators 2 and 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. And then multiply the denominator of 2 which is 1 to the denominator of 4 fifths which is 5. So, we have now 1 times 5 is 5. So, therefore, the answer is 8 fifths. 8 fifths is an improper fraction. So, we can change it into mixed number. So, let us divide 8 divided by 5. So, we have 1. So, 1 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. So, we have now 1 whole and then the remainder will serve as our numerator and then copy the denominator which is 5. So, therefore, it can be 1 and 3 fifths. How about in multiplying mixed fraction by another mixed fraction? So, for example, we have 4 and 2 thirds times 3 and 1 fifth. So, first thing to do is to change the mixed number into improper fraction. 
how are you going to change mixed number to improper fraction? We are going to multiply the denominator and the whole number. And then the product will be added to the numerator. So 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14 over the denominator 3. Okay, next, how about 3 and 1 fifth? So how are we going to change it into improper fraction? So multiply first the denominator by the whole number. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So we're going to add 15 and 1. So 15 plus 1 is 16. And then copy the denominator which is 5. So we have now 6, 16 fifths. We have now 14 thirds times 16 fifths. So in multiplying fractions, let us multiply the numerator. So 14 times 16 is 224. And the next is to multiply the denominators 3 and 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. So the answer is 224 fifteenths. Now, 224 fifteenths can be changed into mixed number. So all you have to do is to divide. 224 divided by 15. How many fifteenths are there in 22? So we have now 1. 1 times 15 is 15 and then 22 minus 15 is 7. And then bring down 4. So we have now 74 divided by 15. So that would be 4. 4 times 15 is 60. 74 minus 60 is 14. Next, 14 here will serve as our whole number. And then the remainder 14 will serve as our numerator over the denominator 15. So therefore, the product of 4 and 2 thirds and 3 and 1 fifth is 14 and 14 fifteenths.